Hey, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, a lot of you have been asking me for tuning videos, tune around the bands with different radios and so on. I'm using the Texan H501X on this video and we're going to tune uh, from 8,000 to 10,000 kilohertz with explanations of things that I hear. So we'll see what's on the band. It is 20 hours and 50 minutes UTC. So let's start tuning around. When I'm outside the international broadcast bands, I'm always in upper sideband for the most part because everything is in single sideband generally. Then I move on to AM mode uh, in the international broadcast bands. So 8,000 to 10,000 kilohertz. Let's see what's here. The 8 megahertz range contains uh, aeronautical stuff, maritime stuff, and all sorts of weirdness when uh, activity is good. rather weak but this is a merit maritime channel marker SVO is the Morse code that it's giving out and that is SVO Olympia radio in Greece and the channel marker is there to observe and keep the frequency and uh, basically a maritime station can um, actually get in and make contacts here in Morse code. So the exact frequency is 8424, but because we're in upper sideband, of course, we are one kilohertz slower for the tone. So SVO in Greece. That is a form of uh, possibly Stanag, which is a digital mode. <laughs> Stanag can be decoded with uh, some software, but most of it is encrypted, so we won't get out much. Eight seven six four is one of the frequencies where you often hear uh, Chesapeake, Virginia marine weather when they are uh, active on the frequency. And this part here, we are getting into the aeronautical band, so you might hear air traffic control stations. Uh, that actually are contacting stations over the Atlantic Ocean. I 
And remember that these are intermittent communication. So, for example, I went through here, didn't hear anything, but often it's because you have to tune around a lot. Even better, if you know the frequencies, you'll stay on some of the frequencies for aeronautical communications to hear them because uh, they are quite active in general. Going into the 31 meter band. So, as soon as I get my first station, I'm going to switch to AM mode. It's very weak, but there's WINB here. Propagation seems to be a little below the average that I'm used to uh, for this time of, uh, of day. Uh, 8 megahertz, 9 megahertz, 31 meter band. WRMI on 93.95 kilohertz. In Melbourne, Australia, at age 68, and then at the encouragement of her teacher, who recognized the mature student's brilliance, enrolled into the Bachelor of Law. Money, money. Money, money. Money, money. This is the voice of Greece, 9420 kilohertz. This is possibly Dengue Wallat clandestine station. You've been jamming here. Radio Exterior de España, 9690 kilohertz. That's the frequency for uh, North America this uh, winter season. This is Radio Japan French via Madagascar Relay. This is WRMI on 9955 kHz. This is WRMI Radio Miami International. Okeechobee, Florida, USA. Contact us at info at wrmi.net. This 9955 frequency usually is for Central South America. Shortwave. We have many, many hours. WWCR. And here it's 10,000 kilohertz. WWV time signal in Colorado. So I hope you enjoyed this scan of uh, 8 to 10 megahertz or 8,000 to 10,000 kilohertz at uh, 2050 UTC. And we'll have more scans like this with different radios throughout the week and throughout uh, when I have time for radio. Hope you enjoyed. If you do, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.